Good morning. Good Friday morning to everybody. Welcome to coffee with Melissa. Today it's iced coffee because they're expecting our heat index down here in Texas to reach about 326 today. So I went with the iced beverage, not the hot one. But good morning, good morning. Welcome aboard. <clears throat> Please excuse me. I am at my friend's today. If you'll notice, you might see a horse or two walk around. My friend Maria is a Holy Spirit-led equine ministry. She is absolutely tremendous, and I'm out at her place today. And if you want to know more about her, you can just go to Horse and Soul Texas. You can find her on Facebook or her website. But that's where I am today. So if you see a couple ponies running around, a couple horses, that's, that's why I'm out at friends today. So good morning everybody. Hope you're having iced coffee because it's hot. But I'm going to jump on in to, I want to read this out of Hebrews. Hebrews 26 through 29 if you will. It says, yet once more I shake not only the earth but also heaven. Now this, yet once more, indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken as of things that are made that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. All right, welcome to 2020. I'll tell you what hit me from that one right there. That was one I could not get past this past week or so because here's what I started hearing in that in Hebrews 12 it talks about us receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken so here we are in 2020 where everything is shaking and why is that good morning good morning why is that because here's what has happened over the last who knows how long I there's no counting and it. it's been far more than a decade it's it's been far more than centuries but what has happened to us, not only here in the United States, but all over the world, is man-made kingdoms driven by evil agendas have gained footholds in our society. <clears throat> so let, let me give you an example. Entertainment, would you say that some, some evil kingdoms have gained foothold in our lives through entertainment? What about sports? Have sports become somewhat of hey and you're talking to somebody who uh, has drowned in sports the last year that's become my thing but it, it's become a thing what about medicine in the medical field what about in our education would you say that there have been man-made kingdoms that have gained strongholds in our lives what about religion have there been man-made idealisms that have gained footholds in religion that have gained, got its claws in us? I would say yes. I can tell you that for me personally. Yes, they have. So because these kingdoms have gra gained ground, there's a shaking going on. Because, think about Think about Matthew 6, because 613, because this has been my prayer since all this started. Deliver us from evil, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, and yours alone. That has been my prayer since this started. And now, fast forward to today, where the Lord is bringing up Hebrews 12, where it talks about He's shaking things, because, but we are receiving an unshakable kingdom. So here's what's happening in 2020. All of these kingdoms, entertainment, medicine, sports, education, religion, all of these kingdoms are being shaken. And the only thing that is remaining is the kingdom of God. The truth, the power, the glory of the one true kingdom is the only thing remaining. Therefore, that is causing the awakening. When there's the truth remains, what does the word say over and over? You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So if the false, if the lies are being shaken, the truth is the only thing that's going to remain. And because that's the only thing remaining standing, we have no option but to wake up. 
especially those of us who know the truth, know the truth as a person, who know that person. That's, that's what's happening. All of these other kingdoms are being shaken and they're freaking out. And so you've got them throwing everything they can to try to stay alive. All of this, these things driven by an evil agenda are trying to stay alive. That's why week by week we get new surprises. But the reason that we're starting to see through them now is because the unshakable is remaining as these others are falling apart. Thank God that we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable. Thank God that we know the truth because the truth is setting us free week by week, day by day. I'm telling you, I'm having conversations all the time of people starting to see through things and saying, wait a minute, this and this don't add up. But what it does mean is this, that's what's happening. Our God is an all consuming fire and he is shaking man-made evil agenda driven kingdoms to their core. So like I tell you every week, there's more coming. But because we are a part of an unshakable kingdom, we get to get insight. If we will listen, the Holy Spirit will give us insight and prepare us for what's coming. And not only prepare us, but give us the words to pray. Give us the declarations to declare in our atmosphere. We were made for this. We were made for this. And here's the beautiful part. We get to be alive right now. When, when evil kingdoms are being shredded and the kingdom that is the one true, beautiful, sovereign, majestic, all-powerful kingdom, we get to be a part of it. We get to be representatives of it because we're citizens of it. We get to be alive during this time. So if you walk away from this today with nothing else, walk away with that. I get to be alive during this time where my God, that's an all-consuming fire, is consuming evil before my eyes. Therefore, that means we get to be a part of the beautiful kingdom overhaul of this nation and this world. Y'all, this is an exciting time to be alive. This is beautiful and you've got what it takes because that consuming fire, that sovereign loving God has prepared you for this moment. So just know, yeah, it's all shaking, but there is something that cannot be shaking at all. It can't be shaken, it can't be removed. And that something is the kingdom of the Almighty God to which we belong. So have a good weekend, everybody. Get excited. Yeah, there's more coming. There's more stank coming. But we get to get past it. We get to be a part of its demolishing, if you will. We get to be here at this time to do these wonderful kingdom things. We were born for this, yes. This is our time. Y'all, this is awakening and it's good. Have a good weekend.